this is Z Sims and we are back with another let's play of Coven Households. <laughs> So we are back, we are back, we are back with another Let's Play Current Household. And like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, make sure you f la la, make sure you comment something down below if you have something to say, make sure you follow me on all my social media you can, so you can stay up to date on what is going on. And I know that was such a big mess, but I am tired, guys. I've just been, I have been studying all friggin day and it came to the point where it just started giving me a headache so i stopped <laughs> and yeah i've just it's just been a really tiresome day so it, i'm gonna be saying i'm gonna be saying a lot of things wrong i'm gonna be i know i'm gonna be getting my sims names wrong i know i'm gonna be slow in my words i know i'm just gonna be saying so much stuff wrong i was gonna start a lot because i'm so tired right now but um i want to be consistent with videos and like i said thank you for 300 subscribers so yeah i am really happy for that but enough of me rambling let's get on into the video so we are here in my second current household and yeah I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even know how to start this is how you know I'm really tired so we are here with all oh my days we are here with the Forp family and I'm just gonna go through I feel like it's easier if I go through the timeline um no I'll go through names first and I'll go through the timeline so here we have family tree I've been saying timeline it is family tree just so you know I'm tired but yeah, this is Jalen Thorpe, this is Zayden Thorpe, and then you have Chloe Thorpe, and then you have um, Christy Thorpe, and then <laughs> you have Riley, the little, little poodle, which is so cute. Um, and I'm going to go to the family tree so you know who is who and how they are related in every way. So, here we go. Let's start from Chloe. So, in my previous current household, of which you haven't watched, I suggest you go watch so that you can understand the family line. We have Harper and Regina Louis, and they have a daughter called Chloe. Now, in my last LP, I said we're going to play Chloe's household, of which this is Chloe's household. So, Chloe is married to Jalen, and they have two kids, Christy Thorpe, and Zayden Thorpe and <laughs> Jalen Thorpe has a mother called <clears throat> sorry has a mother called Shanna Thorpe and that's basically it but if you lot want to know like this whole part of the timeline I suggest you just go watch the previous video which is easier but these are her siblings slash adopted siblings this is her biological mother this is her stepmother so yeah it's it's just gonna sound confusing so i suggest you just go watch the el the current household before this so you know how they're all related but yeah just to just to make it clear chloe's household is literally chloe she's married to her husband jalen and she has two kids kirsty thorpe and zayden thorpe and they have a grandmother shanna thorpe and regina louis um and yeah that's basically the family household so far so um let me just get into their sort of aspirations i guess so first we have Jalen for um oh my days okay Jalen is um a senior detective so he is a police officer um he's just very outgoing he's just an, a really just a gentleman and generous he is supportive of whatever chloe wants to do um even if he thinks like it might not go so far he will be supportive all the way with her 
he is also very fatherly as usual because he has kids doesn't he um but yeah he's just a really really good guy how did him and chloe how did him and chloe meet they she actually met him um when they were teenagers they hit it off basically they were neighbors actually and then they hit it off so yeah that's how they met when they're teenagers they're neighbors and then they hit it off um and yeah then they got married and they're now trying to start their own big happy family <laughs> so next we have um i wish we could see his face but okay there's loud music playing and i hope you lot don't hear it i hope you lot don't hear it but yeah so <laughs> here we have zayden am i saying it correct i'm saying it correct it is zayden because oh my days it's say yeah it's zayden yes see i know what i'm doing so here we have zayden he is so cute oh my days he is actually so cute i love him right now he's using the potty and i feel like we're invading his privacy but here we have zayden for he's just so cute he is just really hyperactive jumping outgoing he loves doing anything and everything he's still a toddler so i don't really know what he's gonna be like in the future we'll find out when he's a child which i'm gonna be aging him up very very soon he's been a toddler for a very long time um i will be aging him up soon you probably won't see it but you will see him as a child and yeah he's just so cute and he's just so hyperactive and he's just so bubbly so yeah that is zayden for um and then we have chloe so it is really dark because it is it's like raining outside in the sims so it's really dark but let me play so we could get her face because right now she's cooking breakfast but yeah so here we have chloe at the worst angle but we'll see her later anyway um i'm trying to talk guys but literally there's literally loud music playing in the background and i just hope the pa there, there, the mic doesn't pick it all up because this mic picks up everything so here we have chloe and she right now is cooking breakfast chloe for is just really she has lots of talent she's a writer a musician what else Right, a musician yeah that's about all her talents um she's just really talented she did she was in a freelancer career but that didn't really work out for her she didn't have enough time on her hands to really do it obviously having to look after the kids and she wasn't really bothered if you get what i mean and found a job she really does like her laid back sort of life compared to when she was a teenager where she was always studying she was also doing acting she was part of the acting club she was doing a lot of acting studying um violin like she just had a lot on her plate and now that she's matured and like gone into this lifestyle where all she really has to do is look after her kids and basically you'll spend her time with them she doesn't really want to go into a career because it's sort of like sh like she just likes that sort of more freedom if you get what i mean she just likes freedom basically so she never really saw herself getting a job job but she doesn't mind dibbling and dabbling into sort of like maybe going into acting a bit and then doing some music or whatever but you know she will never like really go into a full-on career because that's just not what chloe wants yeah does that make sense that should make sense i hope it makes sense but last but not least we have kirsty Thorpe, who is a baby and you know what the sinful babies are like just pure i'm not even gonna swear just poor rubbish because <laughs> you can't do anything with babies but yeah this is <laughs> is this kirsty Thorpe? um yeah she cute yeah she nice yeah she's cute um she was recently no was she recently born mm, i would say yeah no but yeah i feel like next time you see her she'll be a toddler or maybe even a child because i'm aging up my sims quite fast 
compared to these videos coming out like i said previously it's my current household so sometimes you might see a child as a baby and then the next time you see them they could be a teenager <laughs> that's how fast i play my current household so it's different to my lps if you get what i mean whereas in my lps you see them growing up but in current households it's play at my own pace and i don't record everything i just take photos if you get what i mean okay get it. yeah so sometimes you might see them as a baby and then the next time you see the current household because i'm doing it in rotation they'll be a full-on grown teenager <laughs> maybe but that's because i play my current household quite fast when it comes to aging but yeah this is kirsty for and that's about it because you can't do nothing with babies in the sims 4 no shade but <laughs> that is it so let's get on into the house tour so here we have the front of the house sorry that is so dark it is a cloudy day in the sims 4 world because of the weather i think we're in summer yeah we're in summer right now this is the front of the house i did make it and like i said my building is really just like rubbish so don't get at me i'm very blotchy i'm getting there though i'm getting there i recently did make a house after this that looks a little bit better so you know practice makes perfect i'm getting there i'm getting there so here we have the front of the house and um here we go so let's go forward so you come forward and it's like a big hallway um and then if you go to your left it's like a little big hallway you know just like a little table there a mat you have the dogs you have the dog stuff over the Jesus Christ, this music is really loud. You have the dog stuff over here. And then you have um, the kitchen slash dining area, which is cute. It's very spacious, this house. Um, it's very spacious. I didn't really clutter it as much as I would. I don't know why. I just probably, I don't even know why. I probably was tired. But yeah, it's cute. This is the kitchen with the big island in the middle. I just, I think I made this household just literally special white like um, the previous household. Um, I'm, I'm trying to like, there was a house that I did a build in. She might come into the current household a bit later. You'll see it very soon. Uh, and her house compared to the houses that I've recently shown you is different. Like I definitely dibble dabbled into colour but this one I play nice and safe just black and white um so yeah this is the kitchen I just love the island like, I just love the island that like oh it's just I like it I like islands like that I like just big islands in the middle of kitchen I don't know why I just love them and then you have the living room slash play area you know where kids can come and play it's cute I like it I like this little cabinet set up it is cute and then you like have the seating area where you play watch tv it's cute i like it and then um you come outside and you have the swimming pool i don't think i did much outside no i don't really like uh, i don't really do much really and truly um but yeah so this is the outside it's cute little barbecue whatever um and yeah it's nice got lights and stuff going of course and they come back through and then if you go out this way it's like um around so you go through like yeah you can see it go through there and they come out the other end and yeah so it's that and then here we have the study slash playroom um obviously no one studies yet because we haven't got any children but when <laughs> Zayden Zayden is his name when Zayden ages up um when Zayden ages up then obviously he'll use this room I just spaced out there I don't know why <laughs> don't get at me um but yeah this is a play area you know void quitters or not it's cute it's cute it's cute um this is just a bathroom yeah not much just simple really yeah just a cute little bathroom not much uh i had a i actually have a lot of bathrooms in this house yeah 
I have a lot of bathrooms. And then this is like the office area. It's nice. I like it. I think I like it. It's 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 not much. Like it's very bland, but I really I generally like it. It's cute. It's cute. So yeah, this is the office area. And then come out of here. And if we go upstairs. By the way, there is three floors to this house. Um, I wouldn't call the third one really a whole floor. Because it's like just a little block bit. But you'll see later on. Come upstairs and you literally walk into a wall. Um, but you come upstairs and let's go to this room. So this is Kirsty's room. It is cute. It's pink. I like it. I like it. Ooh, I just love it. I like it. It's cute. I love it. I love it. I don't really spend much time. And this, I was building this when we had that glitch. So everything was on debug. And usually when I build, I look for the set. So if it's Civitalin, something like that. I, I don't know. I forgot the name. Or like around The Sims 4, I type in ATS4 and then I'll have the whole set. If you get what I mean, I'll build around that. But because everything was on debug, I couldn't do that. So I literally threw together what I thought looked good and I haven't done that in a while. And I feel like I did quite well for a glitch. For a glitch, I did really well, okay? Yeah. Give, give, give Z a round of applause. Give Z a round of applause. So, come out. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, what we what's going on, game? Okay, <laughs> come out and go through here. Um, this is just a big open area, but here we have like our own personal gym slash yoga room. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. Um, this is where. I forgot his name, Jalen. This is where Jalen comes and works out. Yep, this is where Jalen comes usually. Chloe will come here and do some yoga now and then, but it's mostly where Jalen does his thing, clears his mind before he goes to work. <gasps> that scared me on my days. I don't know whether you not heard that, but I just got a notification and it literally just scares me right now. But, can we get rid of this? Close. <gasps> okay remind me never to do that again because i literally just exit off my whole game all my days that was so scary all my days that was kind of scary but where was i this is the laundry sass like the second bathroom um yeah not much like i said i didn't know where to put these so i just put them here and then put like a bathroom here to be honest i actually really don't like it like, I will build rooms that I don't like, but I'm too lazy to change it. So, this is probably one of the worst rooms I've ever, ever, ever made. Ever. Like, I just don't... Ugh, I hate... I know. Let's just exit from there. But, I'm too lazy to change it. Or come up with an idea of what it can actually be. But, yeah. So, come through here. We have the master bedroom. It is very... um minimal minimalistic um not much it's very spacious i know some people don't really like builds like that where like it's literally just a bed and nothing else in the room i know that i don't like builds like that but sometimes i understand why did you build like that because literally i just sometimes i'll run out of ideas when i this is why i don't like big houses and i tend to run out of ideas halfway through so rooms will look bland but i feel like it's all right sometimes less is good um and then you like have their walk-in bathroom um and yeah they have that or whatever um and they walk out and then you have zayden's little playroom which is so cute i like it i love it i love it i love it i love it um and I'm not changing it. When he ages up, I've already made a room, which I'm going to show you. Um, when he ages up, he's going upstairs to the attic. Oh my days, that sounds so rude. But I've ref 
basically you'll see okay let me just show you it so that's staying the same for the next time you have a baby because then i put the baby's crib here then when the baby ages up it's basically a room already made for the baby um pray it's a boy then because if it's a girl we have a problem <laughs> um and then you go upstairs oh damn yeah we go upstairs and we have a bathroom for the hundredth time this is the yep this is another really crap bathroom don't get at me like uh, bathrooms are so boring to make and then you have his room when he ages up to become a child this will be his room which is cute i like it i know you like has a um walk-in closet which is cute or whatever so he'll come up here when he age up to a child yeah i like it it's cute what not but yeah that is basically the house build so let's do a day in the life of the forbes and i forgot to mention if you lot are wondering what this room is it is another bathroom yay it is another bathroom you know how many bathrooms it's one two i'm actually gonna count how many bathrooms i have three four five bathrooms for three no four people <laughs> i think i went overboard with the bathrooms i really went overboard <laughs> five but no no so Jalen uh uh okay game you loud you loud game you loud you loud okay let's now set that okay come and take Riley out for a walk because he is just barking up the place go for a short walk before you go off to work Chloe is cooking up some breakfast and then she'll get little Zayden ready to go he is so chubby and so cute look at this chubby little monkey and hell no no one can touch his hair I like this pajama set it's cute um so yeah she's cooking oh please do not set fire to the house you'd be surprised chloe's cooking skills is really low like i feel like this is the third time she's cooked because i don't know i don't know like like yeah this is like the third time she cooked because this i don't know how we sustain ourselves if i'm gonna be honest so come and get Zay <laughs> zayden ready let's do it downstairs let's give um zayden a bubble bath um and then we'll give him some breakfast as well okay let's speed this up come on we ain't got all the time in the world what time do you head off to work jaylen you head off to work in three hours okay that's cool we got time we got time my game is lagging that's all right we okay with that <laughs> We okay with that? Okay, hurry up. Let's go. Oh my days. With the slides as well. Go off, Salem. Go off. He is so cute. I just love this household, if I'm going to be honest. I love it. I love it. I love this household so much. I love it. Also, in the <laughs> now I know someone's gonna comment on this. In the photos at the end, Jalen is going to look like Adam. Let me explain. I don't really have a lot of. I don't really know what to call the CC, but like. All my male white sims have the same exact hairstyle. B 
beard i don't i'm like their faces are different i'll take off the hair i'll take off the um what's it called I'll t if i take off all their hair features they'll look they'll look fine they'll look completely different as soon as i put the hair features on they all look the same because i use the same hair features i might do a different color one might be brown one might be black but Jalen looked at literally identical to adam i didn't realize that until i started playing single mother and then i was like oh my days Jalen looks like adam and people will probably get confused if i start doing this current household and people are going to be like um z why is adam in your current household let's say but <laughs> so i changed his hairstyle and i feel like he does look a bit different but i do really no, need to go cc shopping for male white sims hair because my black sims look different but not my white ones because i need to go male white cc shopping because they all look they all look the same because i have not got enough cc for that and i did not realize that um so yeah heads up for any people that um do cc that oh that do a lot of creative sim and are realizing that the sims are looking the same what's happening why is he running inside but uh uh boy where the hell are you you can't run inside you take a rally out for a walk boy oh look at them two chatting so cute So cute. So Jalen's going to work very soon, but right now he's really tense because it's raining so hard. But boy, hurry your ass up home then. Jesus Christ, it is really pouring down. This weather really lags the game. Like, it does lag the game. I've come to realise that the weather lags my game. Why are you going Sims, that's what I'm gonna say. I'll come clean this. Oh. Cursey is crying. Feeder. Bottle feed your child. We are going to join Jalen so we could get away from all this mayhem. But yeah, so I'll see you once we get to the workplace. So we are here at Jalen's workplace and I don't think I've ever actually done get to work in any of my let's plays. Like I've played all of them besides I don't think I've no I've never played this. I've had get to work since the day it came out and I'm going to be completely honest I've never ever played in the science career. Now some of you are thinking, Z, how have you never played like I've had when I can't remember when Get to Work found out. Comment down below when Get to Work came out because I've never touched a science career. And since I have a comment down below what LP I should incorporate the science career in because I've literally never ever touched it in my life. I've seen people play it, but I've never touched it myself, which I find very shocking. Very, very shocking. So we are at the workplace and we really need to get promoted because I'm sick and tired of just being a senior detective. I want him to take this bitch's job as chief, yeah. But let's carry on. We've already started up a case because I was playing this earlier on. So we're just going to carry on. So let's analyse the rest of our evidence so we can start adding more to our case. Boy, get inside. How are your ass up inside, boy? What do you think this is? Okay, let's go. Why are you wet? You had the umbrella. I don't get how you're wet. People love to come and use the machines when we need to use them. Where all? Why are all of the? Where are all of these guys actually going? Can I wanna join? Why did you all just get up and go into one direction? I wanna join. I wanna see. Who's this? Raiden Coats. Are you sexy? Oh no, you need a makeover. So do you. So do you. I 
Oh, girl, you look all right, you know. Tia Beckett. Ah, oh, you look all right. You don't need no makeover. You cute looking. You definitely need a makeover. Who's this? Mm, you kind of need a makeover, kind of don't. It's just the eyelashes. Like, okay, that's really not called for. Who else needs a makeover? I just like going around looking at these dusty sims sometimes and think, oh, boy, you need a makeover. The analysis failed, but we still got it, so it don't matter. So let's go browse the police database. Yay! Go ahead, do that. Um, Bella Girl, what problems do you got? I ain't seen Bella Girl in The Sims for in a while. I think in all my other Let's Plays, she's dead or she's been adopted by now because I ain't seen this bitch for a while. How you doing, Bella Girl? I should not be swearing, but you know. I'm just so tired right now, so it's all just slipping out of my mouth. Oh, look at the dusty prisoners. Jesus Christ, no wonder you're in jail. Boy, you need a makeover. Boy, the foundation needs to get blended in. Boy, I don't even want to start on you. And, yeah, you best keep... Oh, no. You actually look decent. Oh. Mm, yeah, you... Okay, you kind of look decent. Skin overlay just not doing it for you. Girl, if you're stressing, why are you stressing behind my back for? Leave. Jesus. Go talk to somebody. Okay, so. Jalen, come on, hurry up. We ain't got time. We ain't got time. The clock is ticking, literally. Hurry up. Wait. We've already done it. He's just buzzing. He's just chatting on the web. Jesus Christ, my sims. Um, take a police report from a civilian. Just go to Bella Goff then. Take a police report. Stop buzzing the web. Go take a police report. Come on. Where's this radio type noise all coming from? You not can hear it as well. I hope my game picks it up. But there's just like this radio type of noise. And I want to know where it's coming from. I know it's part of the game. But I want to know where it's coming from. Um, There's no civilians to talk to. Because they've all decided to go leave. As usual. That always happens. So you know what. We're going to um, discuss case theories with co-workers. We'll do that. Discuss case theories. But you can't lie, Jane is looking kind of sexy in this uniform. Ooh, you should not be dripping like that. Okay, let's just delete that. Okay, we got that done. I need to take civilian reports so civilians come through. It's okay to snitch. It's okay to <laughs> come through so you can get a report. Okay, let's just cross reference police database then. Since we can't get a report because there are no witnesses like none whatsoever so that's cool hurry this up hurry up hurry up hurry up Okay, let's add some clues. Add clues. Come on, civilian. Oh, is that a civilian? Who's that? Do we know? <gasps> that's, um, that's my creator sim. That's Talia. She is so cute. Yes, Talia, roll through. Come and snitch on a bitch. Let's go. Let's go. I like seeing my when I see my creator sims in my game like I don't know why it just makes me so happy because finally there's not a dusty sim just roaming around yeah hurry up come get the report we have to travel to a crime scene again boy this is one big ass investigation okay we got it take it off good okay Cross reference, police database, crime witness report. 
Miss, what's, what's her name? Miss Snuggle Pumpkin is up in the tree again. I know you said last time was the last time, but you wouldn't let her starve, would you, officer? Yeah, I would. Let's go. <laughs> Jaden, why are you so mad? Boy, it's just thunder. Get over it. You shouldn't be mad for anything. Okay, let's hurry this up. Let's hurry this up. Come on, tick, 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 tick. I want to get this day done and over with. Tick, tick. Okay. Add clues. I really do not want to travel to the crime scene in this weather. Like, but it is moving like London weather. But apparently, tomorrow is meant to be super hot. So I might have a bob. We might have a barbecue tomorrow then. Since it's going to be that hot. Okay. What's it say? Please know the suspect is a young adult. Yay, congrats. Okay. Can we, can we do an APB or whatever that thing is called? Because, like, I want to do that. Um. So we have to travel to a crime scene again. Jesus Christ. is your ABB we're going out we're gonna go get the criminal because I'm sick of tired of being in this case the same goddamn case like bruh we go into the crime scene <sighs> this game A suspect fit in the APB description has been spoiled in this area. Arts try to see if anyone can point towards the suspect. Use a notebook to review the suspect's description. Now, this thing don't work because the suspect's always wearing CC or the suspect is always in its um, seasonal clothing. So, it's a female, it wears slacks, and it's a young adult. Okay. Just find the first female sin because these things... Do Where the hell are we, actually? Where's Salvadorado? We're in a ho okay. You know what? Never mind. Okay, it's a female, young adult, young. You're a young adult. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, okay. Where is that? Is you? We're we'll gonna arrest you. We're we'll gonna arrest you. You in short, so it gotta be you. Wait, let's just read. Let's read this again. Where's Stacks? Yep, yeah, it's you. Girl, it's you. <gasps> was it her? Yes, it was actually her. We did it. We did it. We did it. This is a criminal. Finally. Finally. So, we're back at the police station. His umbrella literally just broke before we left. And we need to interrogate suspect. This is actually... One of the things I probably enjoy about the career is interrogating them. I don't know why. But yeah, we interrogating her. Look at her. She knows she done something bad. We caught you, bitch. We caught you. What are you going to do now? Escape? Girl, your edges don't even match the colour of your hair. That's a problem. How is she in jail? I got Gucci. <laughs> Did I say Gucci? Okay. How is she in jail? She got Gucci trainers. If only. I ain't even in jail. I don't live that lavish. Mm hmm. This is why these criminals want to be. <laughs> criminals looking at you like, damn, she got Gucci shoes. Mm hmm. I'm going to rob this girl. But yeah, let's go interrogate her. I'm really going on like I know what goes on in the prison system. I have no idea what goes on. Well, I know the prison system, but. I have no idea what goes on inside and I don't want to find out anytime soon <laughs> what goes on inside jail because I'm not criminal. So are we gonna interrogate her? Let are we are we interrogating her? Oh we are, yay. Okay, let's do ooh ooh, ooh let's do bad cop. Let's Let's um phone with tickle talk. What the? Hell? I want to do that. 
What's the tickle torture? What's he about to do? Go, go on, Jaden. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Jesus. Okay, um, let's do bad cop again. I like bad cop. It's funny. Tell story about prison. Famous bad. I want to see that. Oh, it's just, just it's just the same thing. Okay, let's do good cop then. Let's um ask about the crime. Let's throw some evidence down. Let's review the case file in front of her. Bitch, we got evidence on you. Let's do bad cop. Let's. I want to play crazy. Throw the evidence down. Go throw it down, Jalen. She ain't innocent. She got guilty written all over her face. Throw it down. Okay. 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 Jalen, hold on. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. She's innocent. No. No, no. The suspect appears to be innocent. Could be. What was fun last it lasted? So we're still on this goddamn case then. We just interrogated her. Okay, let's just go and browse the police database because we could even get the suspect. Great. 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 And apparently we didn't interrogate her either. So, yeah, this game don't work. So, I'm going to see you lot. Once the day is over and we get back to the Fort household. Now, you're probably wondering, Z, this doesn't look like the household. That's because we are at the Spice Festival. Um, it is raining. But who cares? Because we're gonna we're gonna do. I haven't done festivals in a very long time, and it's just gonna be so. Oh, look at all this good food! Like free food as well, you know. May as well. So come and get some pork or do whatever that is. Grab a serving, and girl, you need to get your kind of new skills up. So try some, try some C whatever that is called. Okay, no, we are here at the Spice Festival where it is pouring down with rain, but that is so okay. So come on, let's get our food. Let's get our food. Oh, and I want to try out the challenge as well, even though I know we're going to lose because they've never eaten spicy food a day in their lives. Boy, did you get your food? Oh, you did. Oh, so this is cute, you know, like a little date at the Spice Festival, even though we're not going to be sitting with one another. That is so smart. Come and sit here across from your wife. Are we going to get any, um, vendors? Yes, we got vendors. Oh, this is so cute. I like it. Even though it's pouring down with rain, it is okay. It is completely fine but yeah it's so cute and they're gonna be soaking wet I've actually been to a festival where it just started pouring down with rain but because I was having so much fun we just literally forgot about the rain but it wasn't funny the next day because I caught a cold but besides that I still had fun so I want to try out the challenge so let's um Jaden has taken his first step at the culinary. Come on, let's attempt it together. Come on, 
let's do this let's do this even though it's gonna burn out their mouths I'm gonna do this yeah it actually looks nice like in reality in real life it doesn't look that bad like I would try it I definitely would try it okay boy where are you gonna go sit Okay, game lag. Oh, you seriously can play about the rain? You can see it's raining, boy. Okay, how's it? I want to see them spit fire of their mouth. Ah, yay! I haven't seen this in so long. But yeah, we if we are enjoying the Spice Festival. Oh, uh, he's definitely lost the challenge by far. Chloe seems to be still eating it. She seems to be doing all right, even though she's really mad about this, <laughs> this vein. Come on, go eat it. Yeah, he isn't too used to spicy food, so he did fail. Girl, how is it? Oh, here we go. Yep, she caught. <laughs> Oh, their faces is actually reality so you know what i think i'm going to end this let's play here thank you for watching this episode of current household and like i said if you haven't already make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that thumbs up button make sure you comment some something down below if you have something to say make sure you turn on that post notification bell and make sure you follow me on my social media so you can stay up to date on what's going on and i hope you lot enjoy this episode of current household i hope to see you lot in the next video and i am out